Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Joyroot Jojo. In today's video, we are going to learn how to onboard Defender for Endpoint manually on Windows 10 and 11 devices. And at the same time, and the server OS like 2008 R2, 2012 R2, 2019 and 2022. Alright. Uh, before moving to that, let me tell you how to onboard Defender for Endpoint via Intune. I have already done a video. If you have not watched that, I request you to please watch that. I shall add the link in the description or in the end screen, I can add it. So please watch if you are interested to watch how to onboard Defender for Endpoint via Intune. This video, we will check how we can onboard manually on Windows 10 and 11 and the server OS. All right. So to do to get this script, we will have to log into the Microsoft Defender portal. This is Microsoft Defender Portal, security.microsoft.com. You can directly type HTTPS full call and double forward slash security.microsoft.com or from the 365 admin centers. Under admin center, you can select security. Both will land here in the Microsoft Defender Portal. Here in the portal, if you come down, we have something called the settings. Just let, click on settings and go to endpoints. Under endpoints, under device management, we have onboarding. Let me click on onboarding. Select the operating system to start the onboarding process. First, let's start with Windows 10 and 11. So I select Windows 10 and 11. And uh, uh, on connectivity type, let it be streamlined. <coughs> deployment method. Here we have different deployment method like the local script, group policy and uh, mobile device management which is nothing microsoft intune ssem and other options <coughs> excuse me so local script is nothing but the how we can do it manually but through the script we will be downloading the script and run the script so it get onboarded manually to the uh, defender portal and the other option is group policy group policy is nothing but the same script we push through group policy and uh, we can do through SSEM and Intune. Intune, as I told you, I have already done a video how you can onboard through Intune. All right. So we are going to, we are moving with local script and let me download the onboarding package. So it got downloaded. Let me just go to the downloads. So this is that particular file. I'm going to extract that. All right. So this is the script which we have to run it uh, to onboard Defender for Endpoint. So I will copy this to the C drive and I will create a folder here. Defender. Defender. And let me paste it here. All right. So I paste the Defender for endpoint uh, over here. Now let me just go to the command prompt. <laughs> Run as administrator. Click on yes. All right. So now we are going to run the script for onboarding Defender for endpoint manually. So let me just show the path. What we have to do, we'll have to show the path. So cd, c, full colon, backslash, that we reach there. And uh, yeah. Again, cd. All right. Fine. So now we will have to run this script. So this is the path of that particular script where it is located so i have i'm just showing the path and just run it so it is asking press to confirm to continue i just click on yes starting microsoft defender for endpoint onboarding process testing administrator privileges script is running with sufficient privileges performing on onboarding operation yeah now we get a, a message that successfully onboarded mission mission to the microsoft defender for endpoint all right. So this mission has got onboarded right now. So how we can 
all right and we get an option here press any key to continue let me click on enter so this way you can onboard defender for endpoint on manually on the machines so after onboarding how we can confirm whether it got onboarded properly or not for that there are uh, certain event logs which help us to do that for that let me just log into the event viewer go to application and service logs and here under microsoft under windows yeah here we have two uh, senses like uh, two option like sense and sense here so if you click on sense you could see number of events here 2601 events as generated which means it start communicating this particular machine this particular laptop this particular machine start communicating to the defender portal so uh, even since I are also there should be some events if there are events that means it start communicated to the defender portal so now onwards uh, whatever settings we do for the antivirus from the portal that get affected to this machine it got properly onboarded with defender for endpoint all right so the second option to verify it whether it got onboarded properly or not from the portal in my case i have already onboarded this particular laptop with another tenant so it will not be listed in the portal but still i can show you where you can find the devices whether it got onboarded or not for example that will be under microsoft defender and portal and if you come down here something called devices under assets we have devices and that machine will list here and it, it will show that it got onboarded as i have already onboarded my desktop with uh, my laptop with some other tenant it will it will not be listed here all right so this way you can onboard defender for endpoint manually on windows devices windows 10 and 11. when it comes to server we have to make sure that windows defender for antivirus should be installed on which server if not we will have to come to the features add roles and feature wizard and we will have to install windows defender antivirus first before we onboard it so that is the difference between the server and the client os sc query space windows win defend sc query space win defend will show you whether whether defender for endpoint so whether windows defender antivirus got installed in the server or not if it is shows running that means uh, windows defender av is installed on that server remaining steps are similar on on the server the only difference is that the other difference is that when we go to the settings we will have to according to the os version we will have to select the os here for example presently we have selected windows 10 and 11 instead of that according to the server os version you will have to select it if in case of windows server 2019 and 2022 you will have to uh, select windows server 2019 and 2022 and download the package and run the script as i showed you so all right thanks for watching this video we will meet you in the other video till then goodbye